Hi everyone, my name is Matt and this is Jackie and this is the Matt and Jackie show I was just gonna share with uh, you guys how we met I was teaching improv in Los Angeles with this group called Monkey Butler and uh, She is not from the United States. She's from Australia if you can't tell by the accent and she was visiting and she's like, oh, what's this Monkey Butler improv group? So we met there, but I didn't really talk to her too much, but she was like, hey, I'm gonna stop by a church. Oh, hang on. But it wasn't like, I'm gonna stop by the church that you're going to. It was like, I'm happening to go to this particular church. Yeah, I wasn't quite following him, just to clarify. Right, um, but I was volunteering with the kids, like working with the kids there, and um, I said, come on, stop by, right? And she did. I and, did. And that's where we talked and hit it off. I nearly didn't actually, because I was like, oh, this person, and I couldn't really see him, and I was like, you know, I was new, and I was leaving the next day, and I was like, that awkward thing when you're in a massive group, and you're thinking, uh, I can't find that person that I met briefly, it's kind of like, oh, I might just flick him an email, because I could get that off the website, and say, sorry, I didn't see you. And then I saw him. Yes, fortunately yeah. for me, and fortunately for us. So we, um, that was, what year was that, 2011? Nearly five years ago. 2011? Yeah in, uh, I want to say September. September. That's what I was going to yes, say. Yes, it was, it was. And um, so yeah, we have uh, we met then and we- I flew back the next day to Australia. Yeah, oh that's, I forgot about that part. Yeah, so like the next day- Erased it from his memory. Yeah, I was like, I'll take you to um, uh, the, the airport and I'll drop her off the airport. Cause she's like taking buses everywhere. Like this girl, man, taking buses in Los Angeles is not a very um, uh, effective way of traveling. I mean, it works, and I have had to do it. And, and I'm doing it now. And she does it right now, times. since I only have one car. Um, uh, neighbors. Yeah. You might hear all sorts of stomping. I thought that was an airplane. No, <laughs> feels like it. Uh, we're on the bottom floor yeah. of an apartment. <laughs> and so we're gonna have all sorts of fun stuff. Bottom floor of an apartment. Of an apartment block. We're not like underneath someone, like we're not sharing an apartment with someone. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah we are on the ground level. Yeah, but they call it first that floor. Yeah. It's Bigfoot, but they call it first. So that's an that's an interesting thing. Just to clarify, in Australia we call it ground floor, but in America, the ground floor is called the first floor because it's the first floor you get to. Whereas in Australia it's like the ground floor, and then you go up to the first floor. So I learned this when people were giving me directions, and I'm thinking, oh, I don't know where, you know. But I'm on the ground floor. This is not the first floor. No, this is the first floor. And anyway, digression. Uh, no worries. I think that pretty much covers just like a snapshot of like how we met. And um, here, here's a couple pictures. First of all, these are some pictures that we took. Uh, the first, we, we always say like the official first day that we met, because we, you know, like when I was teaching, I was just kind of like briefly talked to her. Um, but we here, actually said, have a nice trip. That's right. So here we stood in this line for like hot dogs and um, snow cones. So this is us. There we are. Actually, and also in Australia, we don't call them snow cones. We call them, um, well, if you're Asian, you call them ice kachang, but it wasn't quite like an ice kachang. It was kind of like a, I don't know, it's like a frozen ice. No, I don't even know what we call them. Shaved ice? Mm -hmm. That's another name for it. Or Hawaiian ice. Well, it came in a cone, right? I can't remember. We'll have to look it was at a picture. bowl. There you go. Yeah. So it should have been kind of an ice bowl. A bowl of ice. Bowl of ice. With shaved flavor. Ice. Yes. Anyway, um, well, you'll hear a lot of these things. There's, see, I didn't really, I mean, I, I kind of liked, you know, I liked Australia, but I always pictured it like, I don't know. <laughs> Almost like, yeah, like I always picture like Crocodile Dundee, like you think, oh, okay, Australia. Like, and that we outfit. talk like that. Yeah, they don't talk like that. As you can tell, I'm a bit more refined. Yeah. No offense to Crocodile Dundee, like that was a cool movie at the time. 80s, yeah. right? Yeah. It's another thing, we'll probably pr be promoting our friends' cool videos and our cool videos that we shoot and things like that. Yeah. Because, you know, in Los Angeles, you meet all sorts of really cool people yeah. and you have cool things to do. Yes. I guess you can do cool things anywhere, really. Yeah, we've done some pretty cool things. We've been to some cool parties and um, some French <laughs> shows and <laughs> what's funny? It's just funny. It's like we've been to cool parties. It's just, I don't know, it just sounds funny. Why? I don't know. It's like... Well, they weren't uncool. They that's weren't, true. like, terrible. They weren't dorky parties. No, daggy. So, Australia, they'll say dork. Well, they say dork, right? Like, dorky? Yeah. Here's another funny thing. So. Um, one of the first things, I was like wearing these long so tube socks, right? You know, because I have big feet. Tube socks. And tube socks, that's what they call them, the big long ones. And I she's like, oh. Know that she's like, oh, they're, they're so daggy. And I was like, I have no idea what daggy means, right? And then she explains that it means dorky, like bad. And so now. Kind of, but dorks and dags are kind of different. How so? Well, Do tell. Well, a dag is kind of like non trendy, whereas a dork is kind of like just 
not quite nerdy because you can actually have cool nerds these days, but dorkies. But it sounds like it's like so judgmental. I was judging your socks though. <laughs> See? He doesn't wear them anymore. Ever. I don't. I had to get rid of them. They're like my favorite socks because I don't know. You didn't really have to. You just chose to because it would be <laughs> a more peaceful life. Oh. <laughs> uh, um, well, <laughs> you, you kind of have to, you know. Um, but yeah, I used to have, I used to have those, those ones just because it was easier than trying to get the right size feet. Most so <laughs> socks like end at like size 12 and I'm like size 14 or size 13 or something. So depending on the shoe. So what happens is those socks are too short usually and getting big socks is kind of hard to find. So that's why I always had the tube socks. Because you couldn't find any other socks of your size? Yes. Did you yeah. ever know that? No. Oh, see, but you found the shorter socks, thing. so that's it was obviously it. I did. And it took a long totally. time. It took a long time to find them. Yeah. Because I had to get small ones, and then the small ones are too small. Anyway, Whereas, I, I don't have talking about socks, socks now. I know. So you have I don't all think these I, cool things. I, I don't think I don't think I've ever had that issue with socks. In fact, a lot of the places that I've been to, like I think about you know China and India and Africa and those kind of places. A lot of the places I've found, well, maybe not so much with Africa, but places like India and China, I've found really easy to get clothes because I'm not that tall. I'm like five two. So some of these countries where other people would just find it really difficult to get clothing made for them and stuff. It was like, they're like, oh, you're like us <laughs> because you know, they weren't that tall. And so I could just like have a wide selection of like clothing and, and everything. Yeah. So I don't have that problem with socks or clothes. You generally. never, never have to wear In fact, clothes. I used to wear, I used to, I was gonna say wear or buy like children's shoes, children's size shoes because if you buy shoes, the exact same design shoes in adult size and children's size, but the children's size would fit me so and it would be cheaper. Hold on, hold on. I just want to absorb this because that's hilarious. Yep. You bought Are you children. laughing at me? You bought children's shoes. Do you still, you don't still buy children's shoes, right? You buy women's shoes. I don't think they're children's shoes, but maybe they are. <laughs> no, they're not. But, but I have sometimes bought children's size things because they fit me. Okay, that's kind of cool. See, here's something. And they, they, it doesn't. It's not as expensive because that's true. it's children's size. There's I, less material. I would love to have some of the cool children's shoes that they have. I I know they must have them out there, but like adult size, like you I don't know what they're called. Probably get them custom made. Yeah, uh, the ones stuff. I'm talking about, the ones that you step and like the lights show, like like because I work at a preschool and I also work with like preschool age kids or school age kids now, so it'd be funny. Like I guess we would one. never lose you if you had those shoes. We'd always be able to see you from a distance. You know, shoes should have not lights. Not that I ever lose you. Not just like the There's ones that go on the back, in the back, but like ones that like you like kick on, and then they, when you're walking, how how handy would that be? I mean, we have phones, like you know, you like turn the light on your phone. But get this, this is my great idea. One of them. Okay, so you put on some lights on your shoes, right? And then you're just like walking, and then wherever you're walking, you're seeing, and it's like it projects. That's like it's like headlights for your shoes. Or you could just use a torch, which in America is called a flashlight. And then you wouldn't have to worry about your shoes being lit up. So that's another option because then like you could only wear them at night. And what if you're out from the daytime and then it became night, dusk and then nighttime. And then you've got these shoes unless you had a remote control for when you actually make them light up. Or you kick them in a certain way. See, so what if you could kick them? But then what if you tripped over and they lit up and then it hurt someone's eyes? Like no, if you're in the cinemas and then you're like walking down the stairs and then... then and yeah, but you like, want to like kick the lights up. But something. you might trip over. Well, it's well, possible. Well, when I, I don't do know, does that happen with tall people? Like, they can't see the floor, so they, like, trip over because it's, like, you know, miles away? No, no, but, like, if I'm walking around and I have my light, I just, like, shine up high. And then it's, like, I'm a walking street light. Okay. Right? So, what are the shoes that are <laughs> the walking street? I don't know, I'm making this, this idea up right now. Like, cause I, I haven't really thought a, a lot about so it. Just but copyright that right now. So. I know. Well, it's not like I'm going to have a shoe company. Although, you could attach, like, maybe you something might. to your, like, laces, and then it'd just be, like, shiny. So you could attach your flashlight to your Another legs. thing I've always wanted for shoes is um, there's like in the 80s, there's these glow in the dark Keds. And I was like, What's Keds? A, so Keds are uh, a brand of shoe. It's are they the lit, lit up shoes? The ones I'm remembering, and they, they glow up in the, they glow, glowed, glue, glowed in the dark? They would glow. They glue. They would glow in the dark. <laughs> That's a cool word. They glue. How do you pass tense of glow? G L A W, glue. They glue. glue. Is that a really word? No. I don't believe it. I don't you. think so. That'd be hilarious. We should invent some new words. Glue. Those shoes, those kids glue. You can't say, well, hold on. You can't say glue, though. The kids, because kids glue. You can't say glue because then it's like glue. I'm gluing something. Yeah, together. I know, but there's two, two, and two. So you could also have glue and glue. Right. Or there and there. Yeah, and there. Or they are. Or there. They are. <laughs> With a posture. Anyway. <laughs> they um, hit me. <laughs> 
But so, uh, we'll, we're going to have lots of really cool episodes coming out. Yes. And, yeah. We will be planning on um, having people on our show sometimes to interview yes. them. We'll be sharing some of our adventures that we've had. We'll be sharing different, um, obviously, the Australianisms and the Americanisms, which a lot of people have asked us about. So, it's kind of cool to be able to express that and share that on camera. Um, cool for the Aussies, cool for the Americans, cool for the Aussies and American, Americans in Australia, maybe, and just whatever other combination. Um, and many more surprises. We don't want to give, give away too much. No. But so. lots of cool things. So stay tuned and most creative importantly, stuff. yes, very creative mm -hmm. stuff. And most importantly, uh, subscribe. So you can click on the subscribe button, which is also right here. We have to point the same place. I'm pointing. You're down there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll do this. It's it's, <laughs> it's here somewhere. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, subscribe. Look in the gen. There sh you should be on the screen. I'm sure. Like you can. It'll be there. Yeah. It, Just it'll, click. And now. also, it's probably still there right now. Also, feel free to comment. Comment. Make nice comments. ones are good. Yeah, nice ones. We love encouragement. <laughs> Anyway. They are nice people, but we imagine there'll be lovely people. You are like an amazing audience watching right now. You make us sound so humble. No, that they're lovely. I said no, we're said, nice. But said, they, we're, yeah, we're, we are nice. Well, they can see that already. You've just watched us. If you're this far, you've probably watched us for 10 minutes unless you fast forward. But that was saying they're nice. That's true. Especially if you subscribe. Oh. <laughs> anyway, uh, stay tuned for more amazing episodes. It'll be really amazing. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Dot com.